this is the trench that I uh, just now dig. You know, it's a six inch, six inch by six inch trench to protect my property from uh, termite. And I'm going to use I'm going to use termite also. I want to show you. Okay, so it should be six inch by six inch, and I want to put now the liquid, and I want to show you how I'm actually mix it together. So let me show you what's going on. So this is the property, and if I go here, okay, and you can see here is a trench that's going all over. It's very easy to dig it if you can see the dig it here i dig it here you can see six inch going all over the house okay so let me just go on the backyard of the house and i want to show you what's going on here we have actually a slab actually it's a it's a concrete we need to actually um, drill here every one one foot per uh, drill Okay, and here is the other trench. Okay, so we're digging it. It's easy to dig it. I'll show you with what tools I dig it. You can see it here. So using these two tools, so that's the shovel actually to dig, and that's the rack. The shovel actually to put the dirt back, and the rack to actually make it proper. So this is the tool I'm going to uh, use, and it's very, very easy to do it. Uh, you can do it yourself, everybody can do it yourself. So what we're doing now, we actually want to put a liquid here in this area and you can see it's like a little tricky. It doesn't go straight all the way. It's going here and then it's coming back and going here. So you have to measure, we're actually going to measure a 10 feet because you have to put 4 gallons per 10 feet. Okay, so 4 gallons per 10 feet, that's what we're going in. We actually have to stop it. You see we're building like a wall there. This, this wood actually will stop the water from going and we're going now to prepare it and put the, the water here and put back the dirt. Let me show you how I'm doing it. This is the terminal I'm using and you can see here if you look there is if you actually flip it like that so you can see what they want they want 0.8 hans per one gallon okay and if you use it like that, it's going to be very difficult, very tricky to make exactly 0.8 hands. I'm actually using different way to do it, and I think I'll be far more accurate. Now you can put actually one if you want, or there is a couple of equations, but for me it's 0.8, it's perfectly to do, because this place never been attacked by a termite, but in any way I want to protect my, uh, my uh, property, that the termite will not arrive. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So I'm using, if you can see, I'm using here this kind of container, if you look at the container here, and this container actually have a, a ons, one ons and two ons, and actually have a milliliter here. So you actually need to put 0.8 ons. 0.8 ons is actually, one ons is 30 milliliter, so it's actually uh, 24 milliliter, or you can actually make it like that, accurate here. So it's probably here, going to sit here. Uh, that is very easy to do and it's very accurate, more accurate than uh, the measurement that they give you with this container that you buy from Thermidor. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here with this. Uh, I have to put four gallon of water here. So there is a one gallon, we're going to put another gallon. Put the other gallon now, yes. Okay, put other gallon and now we're going to put, okay, so we're going to, we put two gallon there. Remember, we need to put another two gallon, but now we're going to put the substance, which is 0.8 hans times four, because we have to give it for each gallon one 0.8. It's just going to be 3.2 hans per all the container. But we're going to put it after two gallon because it's easy to mix. It's better to mix it. So if you can look what I'm doing here, you look at here very carefully, you can see I'm actually pouring now. You can see I'm pouring, pouring, it should be exactly a little bit more than 20. Okay, that's it. So we actually have a little bit. Okay, so now we can actually pour it inside the water. Okay, now we're going to put another one. So you put it here and you're going to put another 0.8 horns, which is roughly 20, okay, that's it. Another one, two. 
and we're going to put another two of them, correct? So you put exactly four time 0.8 Hans. Okay, so because we have a, we used four gallon and it's four gallon per 10 feet. Remember? So we're actually going to put more water. So you're going to put water. I'm going to actually to mix it. Let me show you. Actually mix it. You have to mix it very, very, very thoroughly. You can see it's become like white substance. You have to put another two gallon. So put one gallon. And another gallon. So now we have four gallon, and remember, mixing, mixing, mixing is the most important. Mix the substance as much as you can. Substance have white color, so that's four gallon of, of uh, Thermidor. We'll go now to the area you saw before. So now we're actually going to put the water. You can see what we're doing. We're putting it. Anyway, it's a four gallon per 10 feet. After you finish, you just need to put now the dirt. So the dirt, I'll show you how to put the dirt now. Look at that, it's so easy. So use the shovel to put all the dirt back, but then we're going to smooth it with the the wreck. So I'll show you the final result very soon. Now we're using the rag, you can see. Using the rag to actually just put it proper. So remember, when you build a trench, it should be six inch by six inch, six inch wide and six inch depth. And that's all the trick here. And four gallon per ten linear feet. So we finished one segment, it's, we finished the hardest segment we finished already. But let me show you where. We actually just finish it now here and you can see the way it looks like after we use the rack to smooth the ground here so you don't even see it anymore. But there, believe me, we actually put here protection thermidor like maybe like uh, 10 minutes ago. So now what we're doing, we're putting back the bricks. You can see how nice thing is done now. We just put the bricks now back and we finish the bricks and we finish it. So you, after a while, you, you don't even see that you actually treat the home, the house with the Thermidor or with the, the substance. We're going to put another uh, 10 gallon here in this area. I want to show you the techniques we're actually putting it. Okay, so see here, it's really difficult to see. But, see, we built here, this is the place where we actually stop the water from going. Because you have here exactly 10, 10 feet. And we're pouring the four gallon with a with the substance of the thermidor, 4.8 per gallon, so it's 3.2 per four gallon. So what left now is just to put back. We're just putting back the dirt with a stone. You can see the small stone. You put it inside. This area is going to be protected 
for I believe, I believe 15 years actually the protection is that no uh, termite will penetrate through this area. But remember, there are other areas that we have to treat it with different uh, kind of like uh, borax and stuff. Uh, a thermidor is really useless because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, cannot protect it in some area because it cannot reach it. So you continue doing it and uh, I think I understand how the principle, the principle now, the, the formula how to do it. The other thing I want to show you here, you see here is the garage and on the garage what we're going to do we're going to actually drill uh, with a 0.5 inch drill every foot and then what we're going to do we're going to use a funnel to put a four gallon per 10 uh, feet so that's a that's a very easy to do and probably i'll show you how to do it also So you can see how easy it is to put it back the sand using the shovel. That is the wall that we put here to protect it. So here we actually use five gallon because it was more than ten. It was actually uh, twelve and a half. So it's exactly five gallon you need because you need one gallon per uh, two and a half uh, feet. So we actually look how fast we completed. Now we're going to use the rack here to just smooth the ground. See the rack, using the rack. Okay, with the rack we smooth the ground and you can see how the ground looks like. You really will save hundreds of dollars if you're going to do it yourself. In addition, you will know that you did it properly. Well, when you actually order, invite somebody, you never know if he put enough substance in the water because some uh, companies try to make money on the substance because substance is expensive. So we already almost finished it and you can see everything is already completed. It takes exactly three minutes to do it. So you choose by yourself three minutes per almost 12, 12 and a half feet to pour it and to cover it take like three minutes, that's all. You can see it's really done, that's it, done, perfect.